Total Media. Pure Rock 98.7, Main Street TV, and Rowdy Smokehouse proudly present Homegrown Happy Hour with Ben Davis Jr. Featuring music, stories, and laughs from rising grassroots stars from all around. Brought to you by Rent to Own of Jackson, Hometown Chevrolet of Waverly, Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, and Gaia Jackson Meg's Adam H. Bohr. With special thanks to Dunaway Motorsports Garage and Sixth Sense Brewing Company. Sit back and enjoy the original music and the stories behind the songs and from the road that make these artists who they are. Live from the porch at Rowdy Smokehouse on Main Street in Jackson, your host of Homegrown Happy Hour, Ben Davis Jr. I've been thinking about something the last few days When I get to thinking about you and your loving way It's been a little while we've been knocking around I think it's time to take you back to my hometown I'm gonna show you my roots If you and me gonna be in cahoots Like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River I'm gonna show you my roots Did I tell you about the time I wrecked my bike And I got this scar on my lip But when I cast my line into the old spillway On my first fishing trip Did I tell you about the time I got lost in the woods Hitched my way back in To the town on the streets I called my own And then I did it all over again I'm gonna show you my roots If you and me gone be in cahoots like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River I'm gonna show you my roots Right there's the chapel where my folks got married Up on the hill my grandpa's buried I'm gonna show you my roots If you and me gonna be in cahoots Like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River I'm gonna show you my roots I'm gonna show you my roots If you and me gonna be in cahoots Like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River I'm gonna show you my roots I'm going to show you my roots. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Homegrown Happy Hour. I'm Ben Davis, Jr. I'm here to share my, uh, uh, some of my songs and some songs that you wouldn't have heard maybe otherwise from other folks. And uh, tonight, I want to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here. Uh, this is really a, a wonderful experience for all of us and that's a, a fun little experiment as well but uh, first and foremost I want to thank Rent to Own for having us uh, sponsoring us this is just uh, a really special thing I've made a lot of money off of Rent to Own in my lifetime I even got a tattoo right there they haven't repoed it yet man <laughs> oh they don't do that man uh, anyways <laughs> up next we've got uh, our friend Wes Ship and Gary uh, they're gonna play some songs you guys ready? Yeah. So we got Wes. No worries, my friend. We're working. Uh, this is our first ever episode, so you know we, we're we're gonna figure this out as we go and only get better with time, like the finest wines. At home. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Feel pretty fortunate that I, uh, I got the chance to cut this song. We're cutting it on uh, October 18th. And uh, my buddy Bobby Keel wrote this song, and uh, Hank Jr. cut it back in the 80s. I get to change one word on it, and uh, it's cool because uh, 
I, w I was raised in the era we like to call the Dan Marino sucks era. I was raised down in South Florida, man, and I never got to see a good season with him. So uh, I could see myself losing a lot of money on a Dolphins football game back in the day. But uh, the song's called I've Been Down. On a Dolphins football game And only lost by half a point And nothing ever goes my way Reaganomics and plastic people Making good luck hard to find And all this shit that's going down Has really got me down this time And I've been down Not this far before Being kicked around But never out the door oh, I've been down But not like this before Preacher man talking on the TV He's begging for my only dime I take another shot of whiskey Never thought I'd get him off my mind And I've been down But not this far before Being kicked around Never out the door Well, I've been down not like this before well, I had to find a way to make some money I never really thought I'd take it this far The man living out on the street so I robbed a liquor store with my daddy's army gun. I had to shoot a cop coming out the door. Now, Lord, I'm on the run. And I've been down, but not this far before. Been kicked around, never out the door. Well, I've been down. Not like this before. Mm -hmm. Not like this before. Thank you. All, All right, you. everybody. Mr. West Ship over here, and Gary. What's your last name? Gary Weber. So, uh, Wes, where are you from, man? little town called Crystal River, Florida. Crystal River, Florida. Yes, sir. And where'd you run into Gary? Man, so uh, I ran into Gary. I was opening up for Way Jennings uh, a few weeks ago. Well, probably three, four months ago now. I suck with time. But uh, I met him, didn't know he played harmonica, and he randomly shows up behind me during my set. <laughs> this whole kit right here. And I just kind of looked back, and I was like, all right, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and since then, we've just kind of been touring with each other. Harmonica players are real good about showing up at the right time, man. They come out of nowhere, man. Absolutely. Well, Gary, you're sounding great, man. Uh, what? Yeah, everybody. Uh, Wes, uh, what would you like to tell us about yourself, man? What's your story? Man, all right, so I got started uh, about two years ago playing shows regularly, but... Uh, before that, I was, uh, I was homeless and hopping freight trains and hitchhiking all over the country. And uh, so I did for about six years. And I uh, had this video that sh randomly popped up on Facebook. And uh, I didn't realize the person had taken it. But I was sitting outside this Walmart during COVID. And uh, I was playing this song called I Wish Grandpa's Never Died. And it was before I started writing. Yeah. But uh, 
within like a three day period, it hit like a million views online, and I had people blowing me up like, "Hey, did you see this?" Wow. And I hadn't been around a phone in like a week because <laughs> my phone fell off a train yeah. on the way to Little Rock. Yeah. <laughs> There's like holes in the grainers, and you usually bring cardboard so you can lay them down. <laughs> but yeah, I lost my cigarettes, my my phone, and well, <laughs> man, shit on that run. <laughs> but what what about all that stuff that you found now, man? You you're out here playing songs for folks, traveling around. That's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, incredible. I, I never thought I'd turn into a thing like it has, but it's incredible, I'm grateful, man. man. What have you got for us next, man? Let's see. So story time, y'all. Um, I had a friend that got out of the county jail where I grew up. <laughs> um down uh, central Florida about three weeks ago. And she uh, told me they, they got this thing called jail media where you could have like iPads in jail and you get to listen to music. All three of my songs are playing in the county jail that I grew up in right now. <laughs> so if I never make it to country radio, at least I made it to jail radio. <laughs> Mom was proud of that one. This song's called The Citrus County Jail and this is about the four first guys I was locked up with. I'd done it all again Third time I'd broke parole Showed my ass some bucket And they threw me in the hole Two months until my court date And all that I can tell That's just another day here In the Citrus County Jail Possession with intent Hell, that's what got me here. Took me about two weeks until I started seeing clear. Made my deal with the devil, though. Wound up in living hell. Can't wait till I get out of here. I'm in the Citrus County Jail. Oh! I've been here six months a day, seems like an eternity. Going down the road, seen four two counts on robbery. Till then, I'm making five in here. Locked down in a cell. That's just another day here in the Citrus County Jail. Now, the fourth guy that I speak about in this song scared the hell out of me when I first met him, man. He'd never guess what he did. He was the suit and tie kind of guy, and you could tell while he was in there, too. This is his story. Well, I caught her horn round with a neighbor across the street. Out around into both of their heads, and I kissed her on the cheek. Death rolls around the corner now, and all that I can tell. It won't be long and I'll be out of the Citrus County Jail. It won't be long and I'll be out of the Citrus County Jail. Thank you. Gonna pause just for a second. Sounding great, right, folks? Yeah. yeah. All right, we are back. I want to take a second to uh, thank our special hometown Chevrolet. They are a, a wonderful sponsor. Yeah, our friends over there—they got a great service team, right? Yeah, awesome service team. I'm learning about it tonight. You know, I will be honest, but they have already helped me out, so why don't you help them out? Because I will. I'm going to. Anyways, um, right now, Wes, uh, I reckon, why don't you tell us what the next song's about, man? So uh, the next song I'm going to play, y'all, was uh, the very first single that I ever got to drop. And uh, we got a music video out for this song right now, and it's been out for probably a year and two months. 
roughly. But uh, I wrote this song as a joke about how short my dad is compared to me and uh, him being a Florida Gators fan. That's how I started the song out. But uh, it turned into something pretty cool and pretty sentimental and uh, ended up being a pretty uh, good tribute to my dad. This song's called My Old Man. <laughs> Had a Florida Gators hat Stood about five foot eight He loves Merle Willie and old George Strait He drinks his coffee black Smokes Marlboro cigarettes And if there's a better man I ain't found one yet that there's my old man To make sure we were fed and warm Did everything he can And I bet if he could He'd go and do it all over again Yeah, that's my old man Said a man's word is everything. Don't lie and don't you steal. He was something else with a rod and reel. And just like Waylon and Jesse. Just like Johnny and June. My mama thinks that he hung the moon. That there's my old man He'd work until his fingers bled He calloused up his hands And I bet if he could He'd go and do it all over again Yeah, that's my old man Now when he comes to see me We'll all sit around and then We'll all fire one up, we'll pass her around And we'll talk about way back when and he ain't got very long That I already know and it breaks my heart when he hugs my neck Says, Wes, I've got to go and That there's my old man So he knows how much I love him I'll do anything I can And I wish I could turn back time Grow up all over again Thanks to my old man It's my old man Thank y'all! Thank you! That was such a powerful song, man. That was incredible. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Uh, what have you got next for us? This next song uh, is one of those songs I, I didn't write, but I wish I did. But I'm glad I got the, the chance to cut it. And uh, the guy that wrote this song, it's such a, such a staple in country music. Uh, for people that don't know who Billy Don Burns is, y'all need to look him up. But uh, he's written songs for Cody Jenks, Coulter Wall, Willie Waylon Merle, Tanny Tucker, and uh, now me. But, uh, he sang the last verse in this song. We just dropped it October 1st. 
But uh, this song's called The Lonesome 7703. Hit us with that intro, Gary. train bound to nowhere and I don't tire and I don't bleed and ain't nobody waiting on me they call me lonesome 77203 little child here yeah. Mama, mama, look yonder, mama, at what I see. It's the old outlaw train, they call lonesome. They call me lonesome, 77203. That train for no one And I don't share My misery I don't sell no fares I don't take on riders They call me lonesome 77203 Bastard Sheriff said the train's on something. Somebody said, Sheriff, what you reckon it be? Man, he's all doped up like old Hank Williams. Damned old lonesome 77203. Said I'm the train, and I'm bound for nowhere. Not on time, not on plea. Ain't nobody waiting on me. They call me lonesome, 77203. They call me lonesome, 77203. Thank y'all. Gary clued me in before Wes got here. Uh, I guess he's been playing this prank. He'll show up to gigs early, and uh, he tells whoever is a musician around to be like, hey, my name's, my name's Gary. I'm going to walk by. I'm going to say hey to you later, and I need you to pretend that you really know me and we used to play together. <laughs> <laughs> he did this at a festival the other day, man, and like 30 people up in Maryland were like, Gary! I was like, how the hell does he know everybody up here? So naturally, we, we took it to Jackson. We brought oh, it yeah. here, man. Yeah. He Absolutely. strikes again. <laughs> man, uh, you guys are such an awesome uh, act. Uh, Great guest for our first episode of this, man. This is I wonderful. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where, so just so we plug it for everybody, this is going to air again. Uh, where are you going to be next? Tomorrow we're going to be at uh, the Friendship Tavern in uh, Friendship, Indiana with Rachel Holt. Okay. And then uh, Saturday we're going to be down at Common John Brewing Company in Manchester, Tennessee. And then we're going to be in Wisconsin. And then uh, Wisconsin for three dates next week. And then we're opening up for Jason Needy. Next oh, Saturday. wow. 
I bet so, you're excited for that, man. Yeah, it's me, him, Cole Chaney. A few, few folks are going to be there. That's going to be I'm a super great excited game. about it. Absolutely. So uh, is there anybody, like, is there, what's your bucket list as a musician, man? Do you have that? Do you have that figured out yet? Or what? What, how, like, who to see? Who do you want to play with? Who do you want to? I want to uh, sit on a couch and play with Chris Christopherson. Oh, man. Yeah, wouldn't we all love that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want, like, just me and him and a few other folks in the room and me and Chris just jam it out. That would be so special. I guess you Gary could come, can Gary. be there. Yeah. I guess you could be there. <laughs> Gary and Chris go way back, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> well, I think we got time for a couple more songs. You, you, you got a couple more in you? Yeah, oh yeah, of awesome. course. Thank you. So, uh, we got an album coming out in December. And uh, this next song I wrote about, I'd say a month and a half ago. But uh, it kind of tells a little bit of my backstory. Uh, before I ended up getting locked up, put away for three years, um, roughly. But uh, I quit school when I was 15 years old. And uh, in my hometown, the, the few things that you were able to do for work was commercial fishing, crabbing, shrimping, or you sold dope, or you did both. <laughs> it was just that, how it was. And uh, when I quit school at 15, I met some of my first darker characters uh, working on the boats. And, uh, on top of it being, you know, you being around some roughnecks, it's, it's also a dangerous, pretty dangerous job. Uh, my grandfather actually passed away falling off a crab boat uh, before I was born. But, uh, do I, I can't do it. But uh, I mentioned him in this song too. This is gonna be the title track to our EP. The song's called Front Row Seat. <laughs> Tripping for a dollar You bring it home And put it in a pie 6 p.m. Do it all again And that's the way it goes And if you ask me That ain't no kind of lie Ain't no cigarette daydreams on this side of town The sheriff keeps on driving down his road and He ain't been asleep since Tuesday of last week And he lets loose when he unties that bolt Running for your life there in home, Sasa. Where everything is thrown out on a line. You sell your soul for a front row seat from the devil. You're praying that you'll make it out alive. Brother John fell victim to the water They searched that bay for weeks with no prevail He tries to block it out Keep the words out of his mouth If it wasn't for his kids he'd up and bail
When he's dead and gone, his kids will do the same. It's either this or selling folks that high. There ain't no other way there in Citrus County. It'd be best if you just left this town behind. They're running for their lives there in home assassin. Where everything gets thrown out on a line. Sell your soul for a front row seat from the devil. Praying that you'll make it out alive. Thank y'all. Uh, so behind me, uh, over at this table back here, I brought my son with me. And uh, quick backstory: I didn't get to see my son for like two years because of the decisions I was making. And uh, by the grace of God, I have been clean off of the hard drugs for two years and 12 days. And, uh, Appreciate y'all. The hardest part about getting clean was uh, for eight months I didn't get to see him. And uh, I thought I was doing so good, you know what I mean? And then when I got to see him, I had to be reintroduced as his dad. And it was like, it wasn't nerve wracking for him as, as, as much as it was for me. But uh, he recognized me right off rip. I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, the song's about that struggle. And uh, we're putting this on the album we got coming out. This song is called Better Man. Sometimes I fall short Of the man I want to be And hoping every day I'm able To put food there on the table And be the best I can for my family Sometimes I drink too much Seems I do that when I can And I have everything a man could want A real good girl in a place called home Tends to slip my mind every now and then But I'm just trying to be a better man All the ghosts of my past They just seem to follow me No matter where I go I'm damn near two years down the road And I'm still stuck with all these memories But nowadays I'm on time I try to do the best I can I never miss a night of work I pour my heart out till it hurts Sold out shows or empty bars again But I'm just trying to be a better man and I know nobody's perfect And I ain't trying to be the good Lord knows I'm better than the old me. Well, 
Well, I'm thankful for it all. And every blessing that I had. Cause I finally get to see my son. And now that boy's my number one. You ought to hear him say, I love you, Dad. And I hope someday, somehow, my little boy understands all it took to be a better man. <laughs> Nailed it, buddy. Thank you. We're going to be right back with Mr. West in just a second, but I have to uh, take a second to talk about our friend Donna over at uh, Howard Hanna Realtors, Donna McNerlin. Thank you very much for sponsoring Homegrown Happy Hour right here on 98.7 Pure Rock. We are uh, just, this is so much fun. This is so special and uh, just also special thanks, you know, to uh, Dunaway for getting Porterhouse over here. He, you know, he, he, he was stuck over at the Exxon. He went to stop by and get him a slice of pizza, and it was the end of it, man. But, and then uh, sp special thanks to Sixth Sense, for sure. I spend a lot of my time over there trying their beers out. Everybody ought to do that. So uh, we'll get right back here with Mr. West Ship and Gary Weber. And uh, if this is... Uh, your, your last chance to say anything to anybody ever. What are you going to say to him, Wes? Right now, man. It's a deep one. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what I'd say. Shit, there you go. Shit, I don't know. Okay. Words of wisdom. If you had one song left of yours to play, what would it be? That's, that's one, the one. one last song that I could play of mine? Of yours, right now. Because um, that's the one we want to hear. <laughs> well, uh... We were talking about it on the radio this morning, and uh, my second single that I got to drop was a pretty important one, man, because that, that was kind of where everything went south for me. But uh, luckily I figured it out, but we wrote a song about it, and it's a song called One More. And uh, it was the second single that we got to drop. We're gonna go ahead and play it? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it, man. Hey, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, by the way, we got T-shirts and uh, we got posters. We got posters from this event, too, I believe. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for being out here tonight. One more drink, then a port ain't nothing. Staggered down the hallway and out the door. Fired up my Chevrolet, then I called my mother. Steady crying the blues as I pull into the liquor store. She said, boy. Don't sound like you need more One more's never too many One more's never enough Damn right I've done had plenty Still can't let go of All the plans we made together Now they're just a thing of the past One more's never too many One more will never last more time I gotta feed that hunger I got the devil on my back just trying to weigh me down I call up this dude I know tell him bring the thunder 
Then the lightning strikes and a drift off sleep in town. If I could do it all again, I'd probably turn it around. One more's never too many. One more's never enough. Damn right, I've done had plenty. Still can't let go of all the plans we made together. Now they're just a thing of the past. One more's never too many. One more will never last. Yeah, one more will never last. And all these plans we made together, now they're just a thing of the past. One more's never too many, and one more will never last. And one more drink, then I pour another. Thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, was that enough of Mr. West Ship? Is that what you're saying right now? Or do we need one more, man? One more. Yeah. You got to cheer for Gary, too. Come on. One more, Gary. Yeah. Hank Jr. said, Boogie Woogie. We're going to do one more? Oh, shit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, while he is uh, uh, pulling this song out, man, we've got to thank the Gallia Jackson and Meg's Adam H. Board. Uh, do not drink and drive, folks. If you're drinking tonight, get somebody to drive you home. That's, it's that simple, you know, that easy. We all do it. And uh, I also, you know, I, I want to say... Uh, Thanks again to every single sponsor because this would not be possible without the help. I, when Porterhouse came to me and said he wanted to do this, like everybody else who's approached with this kind of thing, they thought, eh, that's not going to happen, man. That's never going to happen. And then all of a sudden he's like, hey, uh, let's, let's meet at Rowdy's. And then we meet at Rowdy's. And I'm still thinking this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. And then uh, all of a sudden he's like, hey, we got a meeting over at the radio station and we, we're going to talk to the sales team about sponsorships and things. And then we did that and then I thought, this is going to happen, man. And uh, then still today, walking in here, me and Nathan both had the feeling this is not going to happen. But here we are. We're almost through a whole hour of this. All with your help. Thank you so much. And, and thanks so much to Wes and Gary. Right. You ready, man? Oh, yeah. All right. So this song is really, really new. Like two, two, three weeks, maybe. A world premiere on Homegrown Happy Y'all are some of the first people yeah. to get, y'all are some of the first people to get to hear this one, so. This song's called Losing You. Stand. It's pretty much the reason why she left Seems like I can't keep my shit together Making a complete fool of myself Eighty proof to steal my inhibition but it's keeping me from breaking down at night Packing Newport shorts to hold me over I 
Use the kitchen stove to catch a light That's how it feels When you're hell on wheels Should have paid attention more to how she feels Now I'm out of gas And I'm out of time Losing you is the same as losing my damn mind Go to the bar to keep from feeling lonely And every girl I've talked to has turned me down and I ain't shaved in days and reek of whiskey Have you ever seen a sad face on a clown? So I head on home and I call you from my burner phone Though I know you won't pick up It's 3 a.m. and I'm curled up in the bathroom If I could get it right instead of staying drunk That's how it feels When you're hell on wheels and everything's a cloud of smoke Ain't nothing real now I'm out of gas and I'm out of time. And losing you is the same as losing my damn mind. That's how it feels when you're hell on wheels. Should have paid attention more to how she feels. Now I'm out of gas and I'm out of time. But losing you is the same as losing my damn mind. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Wes Ship and Gary Weber. One more time. Yeah. Thank you so very much. And they, are, they got shirts and stuff for sale. You need to come back here and buy some merchandise. And he's going to be playing for a whole other hour for, oh, yeah. for nothing. And for the you shirts. Pay nothing. For the shirts, man, we take cash, credit card, fruit stamps, 50 cents to the dollar. Um, <laughs> we ain't got a slider for it, but you just have to trust me to go with your card to the store. Awesome possum, man. So, uh, Wes Ship, please go buy his stuff, man. Yeah. Thank y'all. Uh, Gary, man, I got a question for you. I've got to play another song. Would you play with me? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, I, we're going to do one in G, in a standard tuning, yeah. Um, Thank you, Nathan Kitts, uh, Rowdies, man, and all the crew here at Rowdies for having us here and letting us do this thing. This is really fun. This is a song I wrote one time when I woke up from a dream in the middle of the night where I was flying an airplane. single prop airplane red and white quite a sight that's the best I can explain I soared across the summer sky I watched the kids all wait remember I was flying 
working in a single profit plane. Later, I was lying in that night sky next to you. We watched the stars that float on by all the satellites did too. You lay your head upon my chest and sent me to the moon. Remember I was lying in that night sky next to you. Across the sacred ground As the sun was going down I reached out Gently took your hand Your eyes looked like a starry sky As I went on to tell you I'm lucky, darling Just to be your man Your man This morning on a dirty hotel floor I Realized I've been dreaming And you ain't here no more I threw my clothes into my pack I tally up the score Cause I woke up this morning On a dirty hotel floor Hey, thank you, thank you. Gary Weber, man. Sounded great. <laughs> All right, I got one more for you here. Uh, thank you so much, Gary. Thanks again to every one of you for being here for the first ever episode of Homegrown Happy Hour with me. Ben Davis Jr. and I'm so happy to be a part of this. Thank you so much to Total Media for everything you've done for me. I've been through a whole lot of stuff myself, man, and there were times when I thought that I couldn't keep going. But uh, I learned when I was hiking one time that even if you fall down, there's a view at the top of the mountain. It's just hard to get there. And this is called Keep On Climbing. I've been climbing up this mountain for a long time But I keep on getting farther from the peak Every time it feels like I could get a little higher The ground just seems to shift beneath my feet But I've known this kind of trouble damn near all my life Seems I'm always destined for the fall But I wouldn't know a good time if it weren't for pain and strife Keep myself climbing through it all Once I fell so far, I thought that I just couldn't live But I took a chance and dusted myself off I took a look real close at what this life has got to give And I started headed right back to the top Still every now and then I tend to stumble again On rocks and roots and things along the way But I keep myself moving like an old rolling stone Thankful that I got another day but I've known this kind of trouble damn near all my life Seems I'm always destined for the fall But I wouldn't know a good time if it weren't for pain and strife Keep myself climbing through it all Keep myself climbing through it all Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for tuning in to Homegrown Happy Hour. I'm Ben Davis Jr. Really appreciate you. 
Three minutes, okay. <laughs> it's the first one. We're just we're going to do it. Another song. Well, I was just going to tell you the story about this one time. Uh, yeah, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll play a song. It's easier. <laughs> okay, so th two minutes. Ah, uh, really, because I'm talking about stuff a while. So this one's called Roller Coaster Baby, and it's a song I wrote after I rode roller coasters all day with my niece, Addie, at King's Island one time. And uh, it's not about that, but it's inspired by. You know my baby's got a job at the county fair She's got pretty blue eyes and long black hair People talk about her from all around Because she gets you real high and drops you back down I got a roller coaster, baby Yeah, I got a roller coaster, baby Oh, I got a roller coaster, baby She sure gives me a thrill I got myself a hot rod Chevy Bel Air, my baby. I got my Chevy Bel Air at uh, hometown Chevrolet. <laughs> my baby likes to check my belt and holler all clear. I rev up the engine and I roll back the top. Put the pedal to the metal. My arms fly up. I got a roller coaster, baby. Yeah, I got a roller coaster, baby. Oh, I got a roller coaster, baby. She sure gives me a thrill. I finally got her home out of my head. I'll never forget those words she said. I got a little scared and I tried to hide. She said, hands to yourself, boy, enjoy the ride. Got a roller coaster, baby. Oh, I got a roller coaster, baby. Yeah, I got a roller coaster, baby. She sure gives me a thrill. Yes, I got a roller coaster, baby. She sure gives me a thrill. All right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Rowdy Smokehouse. Thanks to Six Cents Brewing. Thanks to Rent to Own, Dunaway Motorsports, Garage. Uh, I'm trying to remember Hometown Chevrolet. I, they got a shout out in the middle of that song. I've got 10 seconds, and I'm going to thank everybody sitting right here. I love you all. Thank you so very, very much. Peace. I've been thinking about something the last few days When I get to thinking about you and your loving way It's been a little while we've been knocking around I think it's time to take you back to my hometown I'm gonna show you my roots If you and me gonna be in cahoots Like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River I'm gonna show you my roots Did I tell you about the time I wrecked my bike And I got this scar on my lip But when I cast my line into the old spillway On my first fishing trip Did I tell you about the time I got lost in the woods Hitched my way back in To the town on the streets I called my own And then I did it all over again I'm gonna show you my roots you and me gonna be in cahoots like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River. I'm gonna show you my roots. <laughs>